Hello, guys. You are all welcome to my YouTube channel, Make Them Tech. Today, we want to look at how to implement accordion using pure JavaScript. So I want to believe that we all know what accordion is. And um, from what I have here, this is my index.html file. And that is what we are going to be working with. So we are going to be implementing accordion. This is uh, a list of three countries. That's Nigeria, Ghana, Poland. And this is, so let me show you the UI. This is what we have. What we want to achieve is this. When I click on countries, this list should collapse. Likewise for animals. And if I click it again, more like a toggle, it should show again. So I have my CSS. I've already written some things there, and that is hide, display none, show, display block. Then the pointer is just to um, uh, just to make it look like something that is clickable. Now my app.js is already here, so I want to go straight away. So I want to say const const accordion. So accordions, because um, I have my ID here, and I have another ID. So I have two IDs. So it will not be document dot query selector selector all. So I want to get all the IDs bearing accordion. Now, if I do something like for accordion, okay, let me put, is it actually a variable? If I do something like for const accordion of accordions so then that means i can say accordion dot add event listener and that will be click then that will be function Okay, so okay, so what do we have now? Uh, that would be okay. Let me do some things. Console.log. If I put some like e, let's see what we have. Then console.log this. Yeah. Let me go back to my index of this channel. So let me put hide. So if I click this, it's giving me this. So this is the this and this is the e, uh, the event. So with what you have here, you can do a lot of gymnastic. You can get the child nodes, children, class list, the ID, the nice HTML, the last child, the next sibling and co. I can even say e.target.next sibling and then target the next one. So these are some of the things I can do. Okay, so now let's try and do something. I want to actually toggle something. So like I said, like we see there, I can say e dot target, target dot next sibling. Okay, let me go there and copy that. So I, I'm seeing something here, yes, next sibling. So because that's what I actually need, you know, in our code, we have the list here. This is the list. So this is what we want to target. So, and mind you, we are clicking on this H2 element. So the next sibling to this, all these are siblings of this div. They are children of div also. So now if I do something like class list dot 
toggle. Then I can toggle my shoe. So actually, there is a, 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 a JavaScript um, uh, property called class list and a, a method called toggle that comes with it. So, and it behaves exactly like a toggle. But this is when it is, when it sees show in the, um, I, in the class, it will remove it. But once it's not there, it will add it. Now let's test what we have done. So if I come here, if I do like this, it's showing. If I do like this, it's, it's collapsing again. This also, this also, and that's what we have. And also I can do it with this, uh, this keyword. I can also say this dot last element child. Then I'll do the same here. So it's also going to work. So what happened is that when you click on this, you are actually, when you click on accordion here, so the click event is actually eating this also. And it knows that you are clicking one of the children. And the last child of this, should we use the word family, is this. And this is why this is the first. Okay, so let me um, comment this out. And let's test that one also. So if I do like this, same thing, it works. Now, um, we might be wondering how we're going to implement uh, a situation where if I click on this and I have it opened, if I click this, this one should collapse while this one remains as it is. So what do we do? How can we achieve that? Okay, we will need to, let's try and put this off like this. Now we need an index that is uh, the accordion index. So that will be let accordion index. So let's call it minus one. Okay, so with that, let's come to this. Let's now say four. Um, let's say let i be equal to zero. And let's say i less than accordions dot length, then i plus plus. And then from there, what do we do? Then we we need to say accordions now, accordions i dot add event listener. So same thing that we did the other time. And then this time around, we'll say function. And then we have this. Okay. So there will now be this dot. Uh, we're doing something the other time. Okay. So first of all, we have to now say that if the accordion index is not equal to one, uh, to i. Yeah. So what happened is that because we want to track what has, has opened, and then we collapse it and open the current one. So we need to differentiate using the index of these accordions. So this is why we are going to be checking for if the accordion, if they are not the same. Yes. So this is what we want that should happen. Number one, we want a strong by, we can... Okay, let's have a test that, okay, what we implemented earlier is actually working with this new implementation. So let's bring in this and just say this dot, uh, uh, that would be, yes. Okay, and then else, what should happen? It should be removed. Okay, so now there's something called add here. Then there's another method called remove that you can use is part of JavaScript. Okay, so let's test what we have just done. Yes, it's working fine. Okay, it's working fine. Okay. So we now need to do something, and that is, okay, so I'm coming, there is something that I just noticed now. Okay, it's not collapsing. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to add, so we need to look for a way by which we can return this back, and we can assign this, and then we, and then assign it to the new, um, what's it called? The new index, so I. So once we remove it, then it should be taken back to 
minus one, as in we should reassign minus one to it. So I think this will function the way it is meant to function. So can you see it's doing like that now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but the question now is, if we do like this, this is still opening and it's not supposed to be. So what we need to do is we need to first of all check for something. And after checking for that thing, we can remove it. So what happened is that we first of all check if this index is, is equal to manual. It's not equal to manual. We know that something has been opened. Then we need to remove that thing that has opened. So the first thing that we need to do is we now need to say if our accordion, our accordion is not equal to minus one. Then we now say accordion. That is accordions. That will not be accordion index. That last element. So let me just copy what we have here. So it will now we are to remove that. So and that's what we need to do to implement that. So if I click on this now, accordion is not defined. Oh, okay. I mean, I made a mistake here. Okay, so this is supposed to be accordion index. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. So I think that's subset. So this is the code. Okay. So if I go to this place, if I do some, yeah. I'm still having that effect. So if I click on this, but like that, I'm clicking on this. Oh, there's another problem. Oh, wow. My God, my God, my God. So now, if I click on this now, and by the time I'm clicking on this, this is this has collapsed and this is opened. And if I repeat it. So this brings us to the end of the tutorial. So this is a simple way to implement accordion in, uh, in JavaScript using pure JavaScript. So please, if you are yet to subscribe to Make Them Tech YouTube channel, please do now. Click on the notification bell also so that whenever we upload a new video, you can get notified. So please, we want you to subscribe. Please like share and comment. If you have any question, please put it in the comment section below. I will attend to those questions. Thank you. I will see you on the next one.